how to run Python in Visual Studio Code. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and run Python in Visual Studio. Now, the very first thing we need to do is go and install Python onto our computer. So if you haven't already done this, you can open up an internet browser. You can then just type in Python install and press enter. You can then click on this top website, which is python.org, and you can go and press the download Python button. Once it's downloaded, you can open up this executable file and you can just go through the steps to install Install this onto your computer. Now, once you have Python installed, you also need to install Visual Studio. Now, I already have Visual Studio code installed, so I'm simply going to open up the app. So once you're on Visual Studio, you need to go and click on extensions from this left navigation. Using the search box, go and search for Python. And then you need to click on this top one here, which is the Python Microsoft extension. You can then go and click on this blue install button and give that a couple of seconds while it installs to Visual Studio. Now, this is an extension that's going to let us run our Python code. And before we can go and run the code, we also need to install one more extension as well. So just go and close out of this window. You can then come back over to the search box and this time we're going to search for code runner and press search. You then need to click on this top one here and then go and press install. You can then go and press trust publisher and install. You can then go and click on explorer over in the top left hand side. You then need to click on file in the top left and we're going to select open folder. Now we're just going to be creating a new folder for our Python files. So I'm going to be saving this in my documents, but you can go and create this folder anywhere on your computer. So I'm going to right click click on new and then go and select folder. And then you can just go and give this a name. I'm going to be calling it Python. Make sure to select the folder and then click select folder. Now, if you already have a project open, then just go and close out of this as well. Now, when you open this, you'll get this security message pop up. Just check the box next to trust the authors of all files and then click on yes, I trust the authors. So now we can begin creating our Python code. So I'm just going to right click here and select new file and I'm going to create my first Python file. So I'm going to call this hello.py and now I'm just going to be printing out a message just to show you that this works. So once you have your Python code on the screen like this, you can then go and click on this run icon in the top left hand side. Now if you receive an error when you're trying to run this Python command, either it says that the command's not recognized or it says something to do with the Microsoft Store, then in order to go and fix this, then what we need to do is just minimize out of here. You can then go and open up your start menu and search for run. We can then click on the run icon. Now in this search box here, type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and press enter. You then need to scroll down until you see a folder here called programs and double click on this. You then need to double click on Python and then double click on Python 313. Now what we need to do is head over to the address bar and copy all of this address here. Now once you have this copied, we can open up the start menu. Go and search for environment and click on edit the system environment variables. You can then click on environment variables and then double click on this option here called path. Now we need to click on new and then you need to go and paste in the address that we just copied. Once you've done that, you can go and select your command and you need to click on move up and you need to make sure it's at the very top of this page. Once you've done that, you can go and press OK and press OK once again and then just press apply and OK. Now at this point in time, you'll need to go and restart your computer in order for this to work. Once your computer's restarted, you should be able to open back up Visual Studio. You can then click on run once again, and you should now be able to execute this file without any errors. Now, you can also run the Python file by clicking on the drop down arrow, and you can select run Python file, and you'll be able to see the output from this terminal window here. So that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.